everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and here's part two of the Bee Journal. Uh, I just thought I'd carry on and um, uh, go from here with you. Maybe we'll do some more fun things with these pictures inside and uh, just make a very, very cute little journal together. Um, I did use a um, two manila folder. I used one manila folder and um, just made a master board out of it, glued those two together, sewed them together, made the cover, and then um, I'm using the Bee Digital uh, kit that is uh, coming out August 31st. I'm not quite sure when this video is going to air, but um, it's either you know, August 31st, 2022. Those will be available for you as well if you're interested in using that particular kit. But you can certainly use any pictures that you like from books or um, other printables or digi kits or uh, just just do it is fun for you. Um, I want you to have fun using up the stuff on your desk. Yeah, so that's what today is all about. I'm using up the stuff on my desk. Okay, so. Um, I have from this kit, it's called Bees. Um, I know, I I original, huh? But I thought I'd make a little, um, let's see if this will fit. Um, I wanted to make a little, uh, no, I wanted to make a little matchbook cover with this one that's already together. These were three pictures beside each other and sometimes I like to use what's there already. Oh, it's gonna work perfectly, yay. Okay, fold that. Sometimes you just don't know until you get in there and you do it, okay? So there. There we have it. it. Works. It's already a done deal. Done deal. Done deal. And uh, I could even make it more north than that. Maybe make it a little more n north. A little more north. So I'm just I'm making a little cutie pie here. All right. So I think I'm going to maybe I need to trim it a little. Uh, just trim a little there. Okay. There we go. Now we're all the same size. Let's get our little brown dauber. Isn't it weird the dauber? Dauber should be spelled D-O-B-B-E-R. No, it's not. D-A-B-D-A-U-B-E-R. What? What? I know. Yeah, no wonder nobody can ever find them. Ink daubers. And you can hand make them. Um, you can get a little wooden spool and just put a spongy thing on the end or a little piece of material or felt or something like that. You can totally do that. Okay, so there. That's done and that's easy and that just worked out well. So that's how it goes sometimes. I think I'm going to keep this as a removable because it has a pretty back. Yeah. All right. So now what are we going to put on the inside? Maybe I'm going to put, let's put some of these little pretty pieces we have here. Now I'm getting them all mixed up with my mess. Okay. Let's try and keep it organized, Pam. Keep it organized. Oh, you are a pretty little piece, aren't you? Okay. Maybe I'll do a little pocket there. That's cute. Let's make sure I have this right side up where you'd be very handy to put your own glasses on, Pam. Let's put your own glasses on. Oh, there's little fairies with bumblebees. That's so pretty. I don't know. Some of these images, they're very, very old, but they're just so darn cute that I, I think it's important that we, we herald their beauty into the future because I hate to see these images get lost in a pile, you know? And um, I mean, like, these are very old images that people drew, you know, hundreds of years ago, and um, they put some nice effort into it, you know? I think that's kind of nice. All right, there we go. Now, yeah. I like that a lot. Oh, I like that too. Right? Will you fit there? Probably not. You're probably too tall. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. We'll find something, somebody else. Let me put you in there. I don't know. I have that as, maybe I want to put something different in there because I have that in there. Let's, let's mark these backward folds. Yeah. Let's just do that. Go all the way around. Give a little pizzazz, making a quickie little matchbook. Oh, now that's going to be, now we can't see that. Oh, I, I, I well, I don't have to staple it there. That's true, I don't. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No, take that off. Take it off, take it. Remove, retreat. Okay, take the glue off. Okay, you can do this with the glue. You can come in at the 11th hour right before it's dry. It's got to be right before it's dry and just get rid of it. There we go. Okay, there we go. I totally forgot I had to, I have a flap that's going to cover that. My goodness. Yeah. You think everything goes smoothly over here? No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> You know, we're, we're doing the same thing that's going on over at your house. Yep, same stuff. Okay. So what I will do is I will get my little Tim's Tiny Attacher or any stapler of choice. will work fine here. And the idea with making the matchbox is a matchbox. The matchbook is that you just do two or three little staples at the base. And that gives you your tuckable area. And I have glue on that, so I'm going to put you somewhere else. Okay. I have a lot of pretty little papers I would like to maybe stick in here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. 
I did, I remember I pulled these out and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. I took some plant material and I just glued it, I Mod Podged it onto a coffee spritz page. Huh, I like that. We're just gonna add that somehow in here. We'll do something with that. I'm not quite sure yet what, okay. Oh, this is a nice little page for you to be on. Yeah. And I think I'm going to paperclip you on there, but I'm going to put something inside of you. I just don't know what yet. Just don't know what yet. All right, let me get some flat paper clips. And I think since bees are golden, like, like you know, golden honey and stuff like that, I think I'm going to use a golden paper clip. I'm just going to put you on here. There we go. There, that's very nice, a nice surprise in there. See, things can be very simple, very easy. They don't have to be super complicated. I think what I'm gonna do is put down all my little flips and flaps and pockets and tucks first, and then I'll go back and load everything and see how that goes. Yeah, make sure nothing is sticking. Okay, so let's do one in the back. Oh, we do have, where did that envelope go? That was in the front? Yeah, we could do this little envelope in the back. So <clears throat> you can also do the envelope in drawbridge style like this and you can also do it in the wraparound style like we did with the other one or from the top that's another one you can do like that um, so just to give you some options okay so we have an l-shaped corner tuck here so maybe then maybe well we have this so let's go let's skip a page and let's do something here um where are you you look kind of cool there um, I think I'm just going to do a bottom tuck. It's not a pocket, it's just a tuck. So I can put something wide or thin there. And I'm just going to glue the bottom. Very simple. Uh, very easy to do. Following a theme. So if you know somebody who likes a certain theme, this is an easy way to do these things. Okay, all right, so that's done. We'll just let that dry. Make sure it's even at the bottom, Pam. Okay. And then maybe we'll go one, two, three. Then I'll do something on the third page. I think that's kind of fun. Maybe I'm going to do a little corner tuck over here. And uh, this is going to be an L-shaped corner tuck. Maybe I'll get my... And you can decide how much white you want to show around here, which is fine. But this little one is going to have an L shape at the top. Okay, there we go. I'll put you here. Now oh, that's nice and flat. If somebody still wants to come in, they have lots of journaling space, but they can also add little pictures or mementos or, okay, one, two, three. We'll do something on this page. It could be the front or the back. I just like to surprise myself. Let's see, I have these two that are together. So maybe I'm going to fold them in half. And I'm just going to do a simple wrap around. You could do a hangover as well. What is a hangover? A hangover is just something that hangs over the top. And you can put lines on these on the inside or um, different things, whatever you want. You could put little um, note cards or vocabulary cards in here. That would look actually really cute. Maybe I'll do that. I wonder if I have a bee-related word. Well, that will take me a year and a half to dig out, but let me see what I can grab fast. Hold on. Okay, I just grabbed a handful of things. Oh, between. That's kind of bee-like, right? Yeah, and these are, I believe, uh, Russian or, yeah, these look like Russian or Ukrainian, probably Russian. Um, but then I also have some flower ones, which are very pretty, and um, some tea cards, some uh, British, uh, I believe these are tea cards. Uh, cultivated tobacco. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. I love you. Okay. Um, okay. So these are my two big contenders right now. So I think that's kind of cute that it says between and among because it's like bee related, right? Um, and then I would like them for to see the back. So I think I'm just going to paperclip that on there and just make it like a small little surprise. And that way that they can take that out and look that at the back. Um, and what I could do is I could just clip this whole thing onto the bottom like that. And that would be there. And they'd be like, oh, what's this? And then they'll take it off and they'll be like, oh, there's something in there. Or, or you could totally turn this around and maybe you want to have a little lip in there so that doesn't fall out. 
And, and how could we build that easily? Let me just take a piece of old ledger. That might look cute. Okay, let's fold that. And uh, let's just put this in here. Let's maybe ink it a bit. Give it a little ink of distinction. Just so it pops a little bit. Okay, let's do a very small little pocket. Barely present, but evident, has purpose. Now the wise thing would be to wait till this dries, but for demonstration purposes, I will just carry on and show you how it functions. Okay, here I am functioning it. There we go, are you in? And all is well yet, we cleared the fold. So that is good, it's not gonna fall out. Now I can use this as a hangover. And this is a hangover. Now you don't necessarily have to clip that into place, they will stay, but if you feel better about it, go ahead and clip it into place and it's okay. So that is a hangover. Okay, so we have one, two, three, that we have our envelope here, so we're good there. One, two, three, we're covered there. Maybe I wanna move you, spread out the wealth a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, let me put you here. You might look nice there. So lightly decorated little uh, bee book. Flowers, cute, very cute. One, two, we could do something with you here. And maybe we'll just do a basic little pocket down here. That would be very nice. Oh, look at you guys, you're kind of cool. Maybe we'll do a side, a side corner, like a, like a side tuck. Yeah, I'll just do a tall side tuck there. I really like this. Okay, here we go. Just a side tuck. Yeah, nothing super fancy or complicated. These things do not have to be fan complicated to be beautiful and to be effective and to be um, fun to do. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have to bog down your whole day. You don't have to pull out the sewing machine. Like, don't, don't let me make you think like you can't do this stuff if you didn't pull the sewing machine out. Not true at all. No, not true. And then let's do one, two, Three. Okay, let's see what's a pretty one. Oh, you are pretty. I do really like you. Okay, but I do. I want to make a, uh, a belly band. Are you going to make it? Do I have to trim you? You would need to be trimmed. Well, that's okay. I can trim you. I have scissors. Here we go. We're trimming. All right. Trying to trying for straight. Trying for straight. Always trying for straight. I really like these pictures. I think they're really cute. Let me show them to you. There. And there, I just, those are beehives. That's what that is. It's not a cemetery, beehives. Okay, and uh, put you in here. I think that would look really cute. Yeah, we make it. Okay, so let us uh, ink. This is the vintage photo, which has been dampened. And you can, you can decorate these a lot more up, you know, with um, stickles and liquid pearls and Nuvo drops and bling and ribbon and trim and all sorts of stuff. But I just want to show you you know, basic, simple construction, um, just a few little fun ideas. If you're, you know, a little overwhelmed and you just want some, an easy project, that's a nice belly band. So I'm just going to glue it at the top and I'm going to glue it at the bottom. And that's going to allow me to have a lot of room to tuck fun little snuggly things in there that can be used. Maybe some stationary paper. Maybe I've got a bee rubber stamp and I can make some cute little stationary paper and some, some, um, Little bee journal cards, wouldn't that be cute? Or, or I could take the uh, the um, journal cards that we made from the master board the other day and just rubber stamp some bees on them, and all of a sudden, voila, they are bee journal cards. So you're staying in uh, theme, and then, um, well, you could just t turn these into bee journal cards too. Then you're done, right? Yeah. I mean, those are you have a lot of options. That's what I'm letting you know. One. Uh, two, three, there's already one there, we're good. Okay, bup, bup. one, two, and then we already have the one on the back. So we have our base, and that's that's how thick we are at this point. Now I have not put anything else in here. You do not have to put more in here than that, but you can. And um, so these don't always have to be functional things. Sometimes they can just be decor. Like you could just glue that there, and it doesn't necessarily have to uh, be a pocket or a tuck. Yeah, sometimes you can just use it as adornment, and I think that's what I will do on the back of here. Put a little bedornment back here. Yes, just right there to give it a little accent. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So now we're just playing. I think I will do that. I'm going to grab my um, the journal cards that we made, 
and we're going to make some related bee stuff. Yeah. It's going to, oh, I can't stop myself now. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to, it's beaming out of me. Hold on. Okay, I took a random, I, I found some bee, where's the rest of them? I had more than that. Over there. I found some bumblebee rubber stamps because I have way too many rubber stamps. But I thought to myself, you don't just have to use bee rubber stamps. Like if you have flower rubber stamps or bird rubber stamps, um, they will all work in a bee journal because it kind of goes with the whole, you know, flowers, bees, birds and bees, flowers, honey, you know what I mean? So I, I pulled out a few flowers too, just random flowers. So I thought maybe we'd have some fun with that. Um, probably got them all from eBay used or thrift shops and stuff like that because that's usually where I get mine. Um, so here's some of the journal cards, journal tags, whatever you want to call them. They read Manila on the back and we just see I, that was silly. I should have done it the other way. Um, it's okay though. I can do something with that. I have things. Look at, look at this. Look, I can do that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I just, okay. is there a skinnier one? Here's a skinny one. Oh, it's fatter. Um, I'm going to totally cover that up because that's what we do. That's what we do. We cover it up, cover it up. Okay. I think you actually look pretty good. Let's just get you on here. Yeah, and then I'll trim you. All right. Get the glue. Goodbye, Office Max. Loved seeing you. Silly me should have done it the other way. Didn't think about it. I could have turned that into a pocket, but I'm just going to keep it easy, pants. There we go. Now, yes, yes, I see it's too wide. So I'm going to trim it. I am going to trim it. I'm going to come in here with my big fancy scissors and trim it. Then all of a sudden, everything is just fine. Yes, and it has B on it now. Okay, that's very cute. You could ink. Yeah, if you feel like inking, you could ink. Just ink it up. Mm, let's see. Okay, so this is just random uh, book pages and stuff like that glued together with a little bit of Stabilo pencil down in there. So let's just like get a big honking B on there for gosh sakes. All right, where's the lid? I need my black. Black black pops really well when you do this. Okay, so let's just, okay, this is black soot. And I'm going to do the spritz technique. These are my two items. I'm going over here to spritz. There, did you hear it? I spritzed. Okay, just to wake it up, because I want some nice, intense ink marks. And let me, I'm going to try and be all official, since we have time. This is my foam mat. You ever get these foam sheets? They make great uh, inking pads. At least I think so. Okay, so here we have that. Let's just put you there. Was this the big B I was going to use? I don't know. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, let's try. Uh, it's just a B walking across. There. Yeah. That's very B. You know what I mean? It's just get cute. So that's gonna, let's just crank out a bunch of these. So that's why um, mass making these things is not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Okay, so let me do a smaller B. Oh, sorry, you're not organized. I'm gonna get you organized. Okay. Bumblebee, bumblebee, little chubby. Bumblebees are chubby. That's how I denote a bumblebee. Okay, here's a, this way, yeah. There we go, there we go, it's a bumblebee. Yep, there we go. Uh, I think I probably would ink that. Let's give it a little pizzazz, pizzazz. And you can put something on the side or not. You can leave them blank, which gives people full freedom, which I think I will give full freedom. Um, okay, so let's grab some more of these. This is fun. This now I feel like, okay, over the last few days, if you've been making things with me, now we have something, we're, we're coalescing. We are bringing together our little items of substance. Here's a different one. Oh yeah, if you, you ever lose the picture, just stamp a piece of paper and then glue that onto the back of your um, thing. Then you remember what it is. Okay. Okay, that's our back. Uh. Oh, that came out nice. I like that, the way it's got all the weird splotches. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we got that one. Oh, is it upside down? I don't think there's a right side up or an upside down for that. Yep, I think it's all good. All good. Okay. And you could put words like B, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, oh, this, remember the one we did with the scratches? That looks cool. Yeah, it's like a small animal was trying to get out of something. Um, all right, let's put a stamp on there. What do we have with this little guy? He's kind of cute. He's just tiny. We'll do a bunch of him. One. Okay. See, he's not oriented the same way as the thing. That's probably why he ended up 
ended up in the, the thrift store. Yeah. You ever notice that sometimes when your picture is one way, but your your stamp is the other way? Yeah, pain, pain. <laughs> okay, there, just some, some random bee flying around. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, let's grab another one. I'm so excited. Um, we're actually using, we're using stuff we're making. Um, this is, um, uh, that has a beautiful flower on it, so I think that would be very nice. Let's get another bee. Here's another bee. It's a very pretty bee. It's a very, like, artistic bee. Let's see, we'll put you here. Okay. Whoop. Oh, holy moly. Come back here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Am I stamping right? Um, let me just put one more down here. Just in case he's got brother. See, look how much more he came up there. Yeah, it's probably like the first stamp off. There's something about that. When you're rubber stamping, you want to do one. You do want to do one to start, but then your second one is better for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe the way it grabs the ink the second time. Okay, all you stamper folk, come in and save the day and explain why on earth that is the way it is. I'm going to put a flower on this one. Yeah, I'm going... They don't all have to be bees. You know, they know and they don't. Like some, some can be just be flowers. You know, what's wrong with that? It's just like a little flower one. Yeah, there. Because it's still in line with the theme. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have with this one? Oh, I'm so excited we're using these days. Okay, um, did I use all those? Did I use you yet? Yes, I did. Did I use you yet? I did, the bumblebee. Yep. There was one little guy floating around. He was very small. Oh, here he is. And I, I think it, is that a bee or is that a hornet? It's probably a bee, right? Yeah, I think it's a bee. Okay, well, let's call it a bee. And even if you pop in a hornet by accident, that's okay. I'll put you right in the middle there. Oh, that came out cute. Yeah, okay. So, and you don't even, you could draw them. Okay, let's draw one. Let's say you don't have any bee stamps. Okay, so here's another one. All right, let me come in with something, anything. Let me have a black marker of some sort, please. Okay, here we go. We're bringing in two. I don't know which one's going to be the right thickness. I have no idea how to draw a bee. Okay, let's just, we are now going to wing drawing. Ha, we're going to wing it. Drawing a bee. Okay, so I'm, I am going to use this guy as an um, um, example bee because I like his little chubbiness. Okay, so he's sort of got, well, this is going to be very abstract. Okay, so he's like, uh, my pen's not writing. Okay, bee, okay, how about that? And he's got like a little head. Okay, it looks like a pear. I've just drawn a pear. Doesn't look like a bee at all. Um, okay, he's got little wings up here. Okay, so let's do out and and then out and it kind of looks bee-like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you got little feet. All right, I got little feet. Okay, little feet. And then you got little antenna. Okay. Okay, we got those. Your head is black. We'll give you the black head. Okay. And now your little pear body has like, you know, like the bumblebees have that like fuzzy blackness to them. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Is that, it? it's not feathers. It's like fuzz or something. What is that? Any apiary folk know? Okay, let's just make him have a little bumblebee butt. Yeah, there we go. So I, anyway, but this is like a horrible bee, but... Those of you who can draw, or even if you can't draw, maybe just have fun trying to draw some bees. Now it looks a little bee-like. Okay, oh, we got little feet. Out, down, side. And then a bigger leg. Out, down, side. Out, down, side. Out, down, side. Okay, now we're looking bee-like. Okay, I, I think I'm going to do, like, lacy, lacy uh, wings. Because I have bumble... I don't know, I just think they have, like, lacy wings. They did black, and that's okay, but I'm going to do lacy that way, making it different. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look anything like that. But um, this is called now the new variation of the pear bumblebee. Yes, yes it is. And uh, it's been seen in the southeastern United States in the Florida regions. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's darken this up a little bit. I'll back you up there. But um, these can be, like, I don't want you to think if oh, you don't have a thousand bumblebee stamps, you can't still play. You can totally still play. And you could write bee-related words instead, like um, honey or um, drone or, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, 
just fun things related to bees. Okay, so let's do maybe a flower one. I have a little flower here. It's kind of cute. These are things I don't use all that often, but I thought it might be just fun. This, oh yeah, that's probably why I don't use that that often. Yeah, watch these stamps where the, the image is really short because your chance of that happening is great. Yeah, but then sometimes you just go with it. Yeah, you just don't fight it. You're like, okay, no, that was totally in purpose. And that's the look I was going for. Okay, maybe not, but there, okay. But then we have something that looks like that, and that's very pretty too, right? I mean, yeah, you can't lose sweat over this stuff. You can't lose sleep, no. But you gotta carry on, you know what I mean? Because there are more journals to be made, and you're just gonna have nonstop ideas, and it's all gonna be fun, mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. You get to have fun while you're making it, and then you have to get to have fun while you're giving it away and uh, seeing maybe somebody else use it, maybe inspire them to make their own books and their own journals. So, here's what we did. Now, all of a sudden, we have all these lovely coordinating uh, bee or flower-related little journal cards, which are so much fun. Okay, all right, let's get in there and do something with them. What time is it? Oh, yeah, we're good. Um... All right, here we go, here we go. Clear the decks, clear the decks, Sally. This is how fast, the see, you just start playing and the desk is full. That's what happens. And uh, so I think you could really make a lot of bee journals from just that one kit because I've got a ton of pictures left over. Um, okay, so let's see, okay, so we have this here. But I think what I would like to do here, hang on. Oh, wait a minute, I wanna put these in here too. Remember I said we, we have these? This is just plant material covered with Mod Podge. I made a long time ago. And I think I want to put them in here somehow. Can I tear this? I don't know. Oh, I can. Oh, me liking that a lot. You know how I love to tear paper. Okay. Yeah, let's just tear some of this. I like the torn look. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> and you can make... Because these are thick enough because they have that Mod Podge on them. You can make um, little pockets and tucks or just uh, page adornments. Or something pretty for somebody just to pull out and look at. I mean, they don't even have to do anything with this. Okay, all right, let's just uh, settle down and use some of these for ideas. Okay, I mean, that would be pretty there. That would also be very pretty. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? You, in you open the book and there's like, oh, what is that? Oh, that is so unusual. What is this? Paper, but it's plasticky, like, and it's a real plant. That's really cool. Okay, so maybe we're going to do something like that. Yeah, what's that? Oh, my Lord. That was me dragging something across there. So now... I'm going to have to incorporate that into my design. Is that got? No, that doesn't have black on it. Um, yep, this is a day in the life of me. Um, I'm going to get my black dauber. So I have some black incidents. I'm going to get my, oh, this, probably this was wet, so maybe it was trailing. It's on my hand. Is it on my hands? Yes, it's all over. I'm trying to get some marks down. Okay, let me just, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to ink up the edges a little bit and show that there is some black distressing going on with this page because I, I have learned it's much easier to work with it than it is to fight against it. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to get the... Okay, good job. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. Just strange little lines. Yeah, there we go. Just work it in. Yeah, just, just, just give it a little bit. It's, it's kind of hard to mess up because for some reason that whole grunge thing looks really cool. When you do it, you just sort of keep going and it looks like yeah, it was all planned. All right. All right. Okay, okay. Corners, 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 corners. Yep. Put down the edge. Yep, the tip up. There. See? Now we just keep going. Um, anyway, that's, how, that's my way out of those incidents in life. Um, so let's just go ahead. I did, I did like that. And maybe I'm going to make that a little theme going through here because I have a few of these and I would like to use them. Why am I, why I've had, I made these, I don't know, four years ago. I, I have used them and then I forgot, you know, I made a bunch and I used some and then I forgot and I got this, that does happen to me. I love the way the roots show. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. And these things, look at how they've held their color. And this is like, I'm serious. Like it's got to be four years ago now. Well, maybe three years ago. I don't know. I'm a little foggy on time, but it was a while. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got that. Let's ink that around. I do like that. 
And I like them loose because these could, you could really write on the back of these. Um, and that's another fun thing you could do. You could weed your garden and make bee journal paper at the same time. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so here we go. Is it too big? No. I just got to find something where it's going to tuck. Oh, that perfect. There, very nice. Fits perfectly in there. There we go. Um, or I could put it here. Maybe that's too close to the other one. Yeah, maybe let's put this one in the back. Could even tuck it in the back here. That's kind of pretty. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Oh, I know what I want to do. Hang on. Okay, so I just pulled out some pretty writing paper. It's got some nice finish on it. It's one-sided. It's like a linen or something. I got it at the thrift store, but it's really pretty. And I thought, let me cut some of these down and uh, make some special stationery bumblebee related. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to fold it. No, let me fold it like this. Yeah, that's going to be better because I can get more. I've got, I think, two or three pages here. And it's going to be folded in half. And I'm going to now locate my missing bone folder. Feeling. Feeling. Found it. Okay, yep, go over there. <laughs> All right, here we go. And now we're just going to maybe maybe cut this in half. Yeah, that would be good. Looking for ruler. Here it is. See, nothing has moved. Nothing should have moved. Everything is good. Okay. And here? Where's the middle? There. Okay. I'm just going to cut this in half, and then we're going to have lots of little pretty stationary papers to work with. And these are folded. You don't have to have folded ones. Um, you could just have single sheets, which would be very nice. But I, I do. No, they're not even. Look at that. Oh, well. Um, that happens when you don't measure. Um, let us just pull these apart, and then we can decorate them, and then we can just pop them in here and there for extra writing space. How fun is that, right? Okay. Now, you could round the edges if you wanted to be fancy, but I think no. I think no. <laughs> All right, so let me... Uh, this is a nice little bumblebee. I think you, you uh, did your design well. I'm just going to do it right on here and see what happens. Let's, let's just see how this stamp goes without the whole foam thing. Let's just try it. Yeah, it's fine. It's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. Um, okay, let me back you up so you can see. And uh, so maybe I'll just make some random different ones. I'll just go through my stamps and I'll just put a different bumblebee. Now we know this one's not shaped facing the right way. Okay, maybe I'll do three at the top. So you don't have to just do one. You could do three. That's cute, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so I did you. Oh, it's a big mother. Yeah, this is like the big mother. All right, here we go. All right, maybe I'll put them in the corner. Maybe I'll come come down. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I feel the need to push hard, and I don't think you're supposed to push hard, but I did. That's what I got. I think it's kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. We've just got a few of these to do. Okay, we put you aside. You are, oh yeah, look at you. We can put you right in the middle. Yeah, maybe somebody could use this for a card or something. Probably shouldn't have pushed that hard, but that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, and they can open up a little note to themselves or their loved one. And I've got a couple more of that. I used you. What are you? No, you're not one. Here, here, little bumblebee. Okay, let's try you. Let's try. Maybe we're going to. I'm just going to. Oh, that wasn't very good. Okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah, these are coming out all weird. Um, but we're just going to be like, you know, the ambling butterfly. Butterfly, help me. These are bees. Bees, they're just like buzzing off the page here like a little halfer. That's cute when they do the halfer. And there, like a little trail of bumblebee happiness. Okay. And we have one left. Do I have a but I, I should have that little... Where is it? Where? it? Where? It was the little hornet-looking bee. Feeling. Don't feel it. Don't see it. Can't find it. Found a flower, though. Okay, let's use the flower. Okay, we'll just use a flower. Yeah. Come on down here. Yeah. There, okay. Do we, we could do something with maybe just a flower. Oh, that's that weird thing, right? Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just put you in the middle. There we go. Yeah, flowers. 
I don't know where that other one went. I don't know. It was right here. It's right here somewhere. Okay, so now we have some uh, bee or flower related stationery, which is so easy to make. And um, it's just it's just plain fun. And you can make a little matching envelopes and all sorts of stuff. I mean, we could just go to town. You know what I mean? You could just go to town. Okay, so let's see. We want to put you here. Oh, that looks nice. Look how cute that looks. Okay, so what else do we have? We have our little bumblebee things. Okay, so we're just going along and maybe, maybe we just want to put some extra cards for people to explore. That could be fun, right? Because you can put quite a few things here. Yes, yes, you can. Okay, that's pretty. We'll put bee journal. And maybe you want to layer it with a bee. Okay, that's nice. A lot of different things that you can do. Oh, and we could even do this. We can come along and, and layer tuck. See, we can do that. We can give them lots of options for writing. How fun is that? Oh boy. Okay, now here we're coming up to one of our envelope flips. So we had something here. Ah, let's see if we have a little bumblebee something we could stick out of that pocket. I did like you, the little bird. It's a little grasshopper warbler cigarette card. We put you there. That's kind of cute. And mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I put a little bee back there. Bee related. Then we open. And we could put some fun things in here. Like maybe one of these could fit. Could you fit? Or are you too wide? Uh-huh. Okay. Too a little wide. Let me trim you. Hang on. I'm trimming. I'm trimming. So we have the, the power of the trimmer, and now voila, you'll fit. So I'm going to put you in there. Okay. I do like that. I think I want to put that there as an extra little pocket of fun. What are all these strange strings? So I hope you guys are having fun, no matter what you're doing. We're already up 37 minutes. Look at us go. Um, it's fun to get lost in creating, and it's just fun to, um, you know, see where our mind takes us and, like, really have, like, a general idea. Like, I want to do something bee-related, and then I just play with it and see where, where it takes me, where, where we go with that. Um, it can be a lot of fun, you know? We have to let ourselves go sometimes. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's, let's put you in there. That's very cute. I like that a lot. And maybe we'll put, oh, I want to put a flower one in here. There's a flower one. There we go. That's very nice. Yep. Okay, we flip that back. And we have this big drawbridge. Um, maybe I'll tuck you in here. It can actually work as a partial tuck slash drawbridge. It can come down. And maybe I'll just layer it up with some other cards. Maybe a little, a little journal card. That's very cute. Okay, and, and if you're worried about that all falling this way, that way, what you can do is you can layer this stuff and paper clip it. And that way it won't run around, which is a nice save. You can, you can paper clip it from the side, get them all. And you can even lightly paper clip it to the flap if you want, so it's not going to go anywhere. See that? And then the page functions beautifully. All right. Okay, where are we? Oh, we seem to have a dead zone there. My goodness. Okay, so this is just a, um, that's something to take up. I'm going to tuck this behind it. I think that looks actually pretty cute. And, well, I do, I do like this thing that says our beekeeping sisters. Could even put that on, on the front. That is cute. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to put that on the front of the stationery. And it, uh, it's going to function like a little card for them then, which is really just adorable. Adorableness of the bumblebeeness of it all. Okay. I don't know. To me, like the the final little creations and the touches are where where all the magic lives. Like the construction of the journal is, you have cover, you have signatures, and then you have decoration. Really, that's all it is to making journals. Um, and you can have a, so much variety and so much fun in doing that. We have another one of these babies. Okay, let's go ahead. Tear this out. And I, I don't know, just something about, I feel like the plant nature, the pollen, the collecting for the honey, somehow all relates to this. 
plant material and uh, maybe wherever you are you can mod podge some plant material down that's kind of cool and uh just have some fun with it. I mean, you know, you, yeah, just, just go off the map, you know, go for the unexpected. Um, give them some things to play with, show them things they've never seen, and uh, take them on a journey. And, and you can have a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So pretty. Okay, this is a big belly band, so we can, we can put a lot of stuff in there. So what are we going to put? What are we going to put? Well, we do have one more of those, so let's get that out. Okay, I want to use these up, so here we go. Okay. All righty. All right. Tearing my plant material. No, not, not tearing my plant material. Tearing my paper, which is holding my plant material. Okay. I'm going to sit that back there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yep. All right. So let's ink that up on the edges. I just think these papers are fun. You could fold these into envelopes and things like that too. That would be really cute. It really would be really super cute. Okay. But I think I'm just going to tuck you in there because you're going to fit. And maybe I'll put um, a little bit more of uh, some tags and things that can peek out. You can layer these up. They're so much fun. Um, oh, you have something there. Okay, what do we have? We have a few more journal cards. You can tuck these in here. Oh, this is, well, no, this is a side flap. This is the door. This is the uh, flap door. So what are we going to do there? I think I'm going to just glue something as a little surprise under here. I think that would be a nice surprise. Surprise! Okay, let's do that. And you could even do a double flip and have that come down if you really wanted to get all sassy pants like that. Or you could have it flip up and they could right here. Hmm, maybe we'll do that since I was showing you the flips. Let's grab some old ledger. That would look pretty on there. I don't know how that's going to survive a fold because it might not be strong enough. Let's not use that. Let's use something more industrial strength like some of this regular copy paper. And just do our old friend the uh, car car trunk or the car boot um the boot and the bonnet which is it? the boot is the rear the bonnet is the front have I, have I got that right english english brethren sisterin um hello help the boot the boot i think is the trunk i think the bonnet is the hood okay all right so let's see what we have here oh that's not very good there we go yeah, liking it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right. And you could just keep going and going and going because you know why? It's fun and it's creative. And these would make great holiday gifts, Christmas gifts, um, you know, just fun things to make. You know, if you have fun making them, just make them. You, don't, you can figure out why you need to make them later. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I think on that one, I will put a little bit of bling, a very small, innocent little piece of bling. Oh, I have black bling. That's cute. Let's hope these are sticky enough. Sometimes it's good to put a little piece of uh, extra glue down there, but I'm just, you know, kind of stick it and see if we get lucky. Okay, there. Okay, so that indicates. And then I'm going to put this here. So that indicates. Yes, there. Now we have indication. And we have indication. Yes. And now you can go ahead and have double flaps. So you can flap yourself till the cows come home. And, and I think flapping, because bees' wings flap, but the whole flap thing works with this theme. I know I'm pushing it. I know. I know. Um, but there you go. So I, I think that... Uh, oh, how about not? Remember that song? Be not afraid. Oh, my God. That takes me back. Um... I'll just put you here. Just because I like you. I don't know. You're just kind of cute. I'll just have to put you there. You're there, so you're fine. And then we have you in the very back, which you're already pretty decorated. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick another little there. We'll put you there. Uh, maybe some flowers. There. Very cute, right? So there we go. Oh, I never did the... Let's finish the spine, Pam. 
Finish the spine. Okay. I think I'm going to come in with some, let me look. Okay, I found this odd little piece of um, cotton muslin. And I'm going to try and tear it into enough pieces that I can cover it. I think I may need two or three. So let's let's just see how it goes. I like the hodgepodgedness of it. I do. <laughs> okay, let's try there. Let's try three pieces. I don't know if I need all three, but let's see. This is just going to give it enough strength so that it does not come apart on the spine. And you could actually take this and maybe we're going to do this. We don't need to do this, but we could. And I'm just going to try. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try and sew these together first and then lay them down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, so let me just lightly glue them together at the intersection. Just a, a tad of glue because I don't hold things together well when I'm sewing. Yeah, no, I don't. No, not at all. Okay, so let me try that. Let me, let me. Okay, you're going to see the whole mess of everything here, but this is, this is the reality. This is the reality. Okay, here we go. Now I'm just going to, maybe I'll do a zigzag down the center just for fun. I hope this works. Okay, one, two, three, four. A little wider. Okay, so two. Oh, you're moving. Good. That's good. This is also increasing the strength of this little piece. Trying for the center. Don't know if I'm going to hit it, but I'm trying. I am trying. I'm not worried about going back and forth at the end or anything. It's probably going to come a little apart on the end. That's okay. I can live with that because it's too long. i got to trim it anyway. Okay. Okay. So this is like, yeah, this is the way things sew for me. Like, what is that? Nobody knows. Yeah, it's like I've created a new stitch out of God knows what. Um, yeah, I hear you. Tension, thread, thickness. Yeah, I know. I did it all wrong. Okay. So anyway, we're going back over here. I'm going to put it down. <sighs> okay. But what I want to show you is that you don't have to be the greatest seamstress in order to still have fun. That's really my message. And you learn as you go. You know, it's all a learning process. I've been sewing for four years. I'm still a complete rookie. I like that a lot. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So I'm going to glue it down. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to come down here. don't know how far to go, but I want to go far enough so I have enough glue. And, oops, yep, yeah, nope. And coming up the other side. And then, oh, goodness gracious, maybe down the middle. That should be plenty. You want to go to the edges, make sure the little edges have glue. You have to sing for this part. I don't know why. Okay. I, I, I'm smooshing. Smooshing my glue to the edges. I got glue all over my fingers now. But I, I just, I love that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Putting it down, the top should be pretty close to where I want it to live. Don't want too much tension on it. Let it relax. Now let's fold it up and make sure that it, it conforms to the shape of this amazing spine that I have created here. Here we go. There we go. Now nobody's going to come apart. What I'm going to do with you, we're going to trim you off. Oop, there we go. Let this gig get that off the fingers. Okay. All right. There. There. And I like the little raggediness of it, the little odd, like, fray. I like that. I don't know. You can take all that off if you want, or you can leave it if you like it. That's what it looks like on that side. I think that's cute. Um, so, yeah, you can take little pieces of fabric and, and create um, spine strength very easily, very quickly. So there is the little, what is that? The little bee journal, all done. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun with that. It was a lot of fun for me to make with you. Oh, it's 48 minutes. Holy mackerel. Sunny, do you have anything to say? I'll be real quick, Mom. It's just a short note today. Okay. All right. Let's see what you have to say. I'm coming. <clears throat> I, got, I got a funny voice today, Mom. What's the matter with my voice? It's okay. It's okay. It's probably just pollen or something outside. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. I just want you to know that... Um. Okay, totally on the spot here. What am I thinking? I am thinking that, M Mom, your desk is really messy and you should clean it up. That's what I, I that's it. Everybody, clean your desk today. There you go. Love y'all. Sunshine and checking out. Okay. <laughs> You're right, Sunny. I do need to clean my desk. But you know what? It means that I had a lot of fun with everybody here. I hope they had fun too. And we wish them all the best. And I'll do a quick flip through while, um, 
I'm just reminding everybody, if you haven't signed up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, make sure you do because you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material, and on the other days there's video podcasts, which you can watch on Spotify or listen to the audio anywhere you listen to podcasts. I have an Etsy shop. Hey, if you're looking for journals or bundles, when I have them done, I pop them in there. Um, I, ha I make vintage digi kits, which are printables, um, which you purchase the computer files from me, and then you can print them out. Uh, you can save them, download them, and print them out as many times as you like and use them in your artwork. And... Uh, um, but um, but um, um, I have fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper, like old ledger and checks and receipts and music paper and uh, dictionary pages and things like that, if you want to use those in your junk journals. Now, notice I didn't really use anything old in this journal other than what was on the cover. I did use some old pieces here, but you can certainly make things that are, you don't have to have old papers to do it. Um, you can have fun no matter what when you're making junk journals, so I just want to get that out there. Uh, but if you do like the old papers, I do have collections of 100 pieces. Pieces. They're called fundals and a uh, good variety, and I ship those off to you, uh, free priority shipping included with those. I have an Amazon shop, so if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, um, I'm an affiliate for Amazon, so that does help my shop grow. Uh, thank you very much if you use any of those links. And also, uh, I have a merchandise shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or um, everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Well, this is pretty, and I want to I include that. Um, uh, yeah, so if you like that, uh, for a special gift for yourself or a friend or a family member or a, a fellow crafter, um, I have you covered with t-shirts, uh, zip toadies, sweatshirts, uh, mugs, totes, all sorts of fun things, water bottles, you name it, we got you covered. And um, you can find all the links down below. And uh, that was a fun little uh, matchbox. I didn't think I put anything in there. Let me put something in there. And no, nope, didn't put anything in there. And maybe some of these little cigarette cards. That's cute. And maybe a bumblebee something. Are you too tall? Maybe I tried you already today. Yeah, I like to, but you're too tall. And um, so uh, what else do I want to Oh, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. And you're too tall, right? Yeah. And um, just remember that uh, fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And we will see you next time. So that is the... B journal flip through. Had a lot of fun making this with you guys. There's our belly band. And um, just have a blast, whatever you're doing today. I certainly hope there's lots of time for fun in your world. Take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Keep making things. Keep playing with your papers and enjoy the journey. Take care. Bye-bye.